والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم جزاك الله خير سيستر مروة من الولايات المتحدة العربية أمريكا أشك سيستر برادر نور من الكينة سعودية العربية هل تسألت أحد من هذه الأسئلة؟ He had a second question, which he was saying that in the evening, um, I usually wait, I go home and I pray my witr and my sunnah uh, at home with my wife in Jama'ah. Uh, he says, is this allowed? Is it allowed for me to do this practice? First of all, concerning saving the sunnah to be prayed at home, this is a tradition of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As a matter of fact, he encouraged us to do that. Mm -hmm. So whether you pray it in the masjid or at home, both are permissible. But the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, don't you make your homes uh, look like graveyards in what sense that in the graveyard we're not allowed to pray so offer some prayer at home which prayer mm -hmm. basically the Prophet ﷺ is referring to a nawafil and it was narrated in several ahadith that the Prophet ﷺ would pray the fard in the masjid in congregation and would save the nafl whether before or after to be offered at home so that would bring some blessing into one's house mm -hmm. now the question is regarding Praying the nafl in jama'ah, whether it happens to be in the masjid or at <coughs> home. The brother Excuse is me. saving uh, the nafl to be prayed at home with his wife. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're talking about the sunan, which is before or after the prayers, it is best to pray it by yourself, individually, because this is the sunnah. What if I pray it in jama'ah? It is permissible as well, but not constantly. Mm. This is not the head or the tradition of the Prophet ﷺ. Or otherwise, he would have prayed every nafl in jama'ah as well. But what if it is a night prayer or tahajjud, and you're reciting and your wife is praying behind you, then it is recommended, similar to tahajjud, salat al-tarawih. And he also mentioned about the witch, where you make the qunut and the dua, and she follows you with the ta'meen. That is permissible. But generally speaking, salat al-nafl, voluntary prayer, is superior if it is prayed by yourself alone individually but it is permissible to pray it in jama'ah as well the better is to pray it by yourself it's totally the opposite of uh, al-fard the prophet sallallahu said the single prayer which you pray in congregation is 27 times superior to the same prayer if you pray it by yourself that will lead us to another very important uh, question which is what if you save the sunnah where you pray it at home, your wife joins you that she's praying her fard and you're praying the sunnah. That too is permissible. And she gets the reward of praying in jama'ah. Why is that? Because Mu'ad ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu arda used to pray Isha with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then go to his neighborhood. His people will be awaiting him in the masjid and he would lead the prayer, the Isha, once again. So this second Isha for him was what? Was a nafl, was tatawa, because he has already done with the fart. Also, it was mentioned that in one incident, that one of the companions entered the masjid late after the salah was over. So the Prophet ﷺ delegated them and encouraged him. He said, is there anyone to give a sadaqah, a charity to your brother by praying sunnah so that he could follow you in jama'ah and join you to be considered a jama'ah for him, and one of the sahaba volunteered to do that. So it is permissible according to the opinion of the vast majority of the scholars, and according to the sound references, which I just quoted some of them, to pray the fard after somebody who is praying with the intention of offering the nafl.